What a whirlwind of a day it's been for UT football. Several coaching changes made some relieved of their duties and others no longer on staff. First defensive coordinator and linebackers coach Todd Orlando has been fired. He's been with UT since Herman took over. His defense allowed only 392 yards and 25 points per game in 2018, but those numbers skyrocketed this season. 446 yards allowed and 28 points per game, and Big 12 play was even worse. Only Texas Tech and Kansas gave up more points this year in the Big 12. Pass game coordinator and outside receivers coach Drew Marringer also fired. He came to Texas in 2017 from Rutgers and had been leading the passing game while coaching wide receivers. According to our partners at the Austin American Statesman, if Marringer had remained on staff as of 9 a.m. Monday, there would have been a, quote, serious internal revolt. End quote. Inside receivers coach Corby Meekings will no longer serve as an assistant coach, but according to UT, he will continue on for the immediate future in an administrative capacity. Tom Herman released a comment saying, I'm truly grateful for everything Todd, Drew, and Corby have done, not only for us here at Texas, but in building the program at Houston as well. He goes on to say, I just believe we need a fresh set of eyes and infusion of new ideas and energy to help us grow across the board end quote on the other side of the ball Tim Beck was relieved of his duties as offensive coordinator however he will continue as the quarterbacks coach through the bowl game Beck came to Texas when Herman took over from Ohio State he had been the offensive coordinator with the Buckeyes and ironically enough replaced Herman when he left to take over the Houston job the Longhorns struggled this season and ended with a seven and five record a team that was not only ranked in the top 10 at the beginning of the season but also expected to be a contender for the Big 12 championship. There were high hopes after a 10 and 4 season last year and a dominant victory over Georgia in the Sugar Bowl, but UT didn't deliver. Stay with us. We will have more sports right after the break.